Well, I am right now driving on SS309 on the way to uh, Venice or Venezia. And this is uh, Campo Gara, coming across Campo Gara in Pearo Luce. And uh, this is a beautiful countryside of uh, Italy, of the Italian peninsula and the country of Italy, present day Italy. But this. Uh, haven't been named Italy all the time. As a matter of fact, there is became Italy in 1878, 1878. Now, prior to that, we have a lot of civilizations out here. We have from the from the Phoenicians, the Greeks, uh, uh, the Gauls, or, or the Celtos, uh, and everybody else. But today is called the region of Lombardy, Lombardy. And, and it's named after the uh, Lombard tribes. Lombard tribes. And the Lombard tribes, with the Visigothic tribes, they, uh, they invaded the uh, Roman, uh, these territories, you know, they, they were uh, 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 Roman at the time, were controlled by Rome, and completely destroy the uh, the Roman civilization and start new kingdoms the, the uh, Lombard kingdoms and that is the reason uh, we have uh, uh, the name of the uh, governors like for example in Venice they call them Daj, Daj and that is the word for the country of Daj land Daj land and Dash land is what the Germans call themselves, Dash. But we do not call the Germans Germans, neither the Italians or the Romans. They call them Alemanni, Alemanni, uh, after the Alemanni tribes. And actually, they they group all with the same name. So any any tribes no, north from here. Barbarian tribes that they call them were Alemanese to them. Like for example, we pronounce it Aleman, Aleman. So when we mention the uh, uh, the uh, uh, tribe or the the nation of uh, Germany, we don't call the nation of the Germany the German Germans. We call them the nation of Alemania, Alemania. So basically what I'm trying to pass along is that all these names are just very confusing but they are the same, the same group of people and at one point they were like slaves and at other points they were the conquerors. And uh, so for example this land before the Lombards were here uh, were taken away from the Gauls. The Gauls are the Celto, the Celts. Uh, the same tribes are the uh, Spanish, the French, the uh, Irish, the Scottish, and all these guys have to run away from here and end up on the Iberia Peninsula and beyond into the uh, into Brittany or the islands of, of Britannia. So uh, that is the whole deal. So I'm heading to Venice. And Venice is a is a king in Venice. It's called the Dash, the Dash of Venice. And actually, the Dash of Venice is not from Venice. It's from Germany. And the Germans are not Germans. <laughs> they, they 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 are Alemanese. Oh, uh, it's very confusing. But that is how it works. So enjoy the uh, the the, uh, the 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 place. This is a uh, a very rustic place. Very. Uh, um, how can I say uh, um, uh, industrial place and this is uh, uh, on the short of the Adriatic uh, Sea so we have uh, we're almost on the top of the boot of Italy and on the other side you have uh, uh, you have the uh, the Dalmatians the Dalmatians and of course today the Dalmatians uh, 
uh, they are the uh, people of Montenegro, they are the Serbs, the Croats, uh, 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 all these tribes, is, is, is Slavic tribes. And at one point those Slavic tribes were conquered by the Turks. But the Turks did not call themselves Turks. They were called themselves Ottomans, Ottomans. So this is where we are. And Venezia. I'm probably about 15 kilometers from Venezia right now. So I wanted to, to show this video and, and so you can see basically what, what this land is all about. Otherwise, remember the big fish eat the little fish and it will change your name to something else, to, to conquer you. The same is in the United States of America. Well, saludos and uh, I have to go back to uh, to uh, uh, how can I say? Uh, do some navigations. I'm coming up on on a runabout. Maybe I can film the runabout. And it's uh, extremely uh, difficult to uh, to film on on a rental car. Of course, don't try this at home. The only reason I can pull this off is because I am a uh, professional driver and driving in Italy is uh, really really enjoyable I mean I really enjoy driving in Italy but do not attempt it unless you know how to drive very well in the United States first if you get lost in the United States don't even try but if you're a good driver in the United States hey that this is the only way to, to, to travel in Italy rent your car and go around the whole peninsula. 